a service for VE Day from Broomfield Churchyard. Heaviness may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. God has been our refuge and our strength, a present help in time of trouble. Dear friends, we are today commemorating the 75th anniversary of victory in Europe, when the sounds of war fell silent on this continent. We come together conscious of our need for God's forgiveness for the sin and the desire to dominate others that leads to conflict between people and war between nations. And as we remember the many soldiers, sailors and airmen who gave their lives restraining evil and opposing tyranny, so we also come in thanksgiving for the years of peace that the nations of Europe have enjoyed since the Second World War. We are joyful today, and as those who gathered on that first victory day, glad of each other's company and grateful for the laughter and love that follows times of sadness and loss, so we will do all we can to remember this VE day. But above all things, let us pray that God's will may be done on earth as it is in heaven, as we join our voices together and say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And a reading from 2 Corinthians, chapter 5, verses 16. To 21. It is a call to be reconciled. From now on, therefore, we regard no one from a human point of view, even though we once knew Christ from a human point of view. We know him no longer in that way. So if anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. Everything old has passed away. See, everything has become new. All this is from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, in Christ, God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them and entrusting the message of reconciliation to us. So we are ambassadors for Christ, since God is making his appeal through us. We entreat you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake he made him to be sin who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Your salvation is near to those who fear you, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth have met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. That glory may dwell in our land. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Steadfast love and faithfulness go before you. Your salvation is near to those who fear you. That glory may dwell in our land. Let us pledge ourselves anew to the service of God and our fellow men and women, that we may help encourage and comfort others and support those working for the relief of the needy and for the peace and welfare of the nations. And if you would like to join in with the words of the commitment to peace, they are on our website page. Lord God, our Father, we pledge ourselves to serve you and all humankind in the cause of peace, for the relief of want and suffering and for the praise of your name. Guide us by your spirit. Give us wisdom. Give us courage. Give us hope. 
and keep us faithful now and always. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord, our God, as we remember, teach us the ways of peace. As we treasure memories, teach us to hope. As we give thanks for the sacrifices of the past, help us to make your future in this world. Until your kingdom come. Amen. Almighty God, from whom all thoughts of truth and peace proceed, kindle in the hearts of all people the true love of peace and guide us with your pure and peaceable wisdom, those who take counsel for the nations of the earth, that in tranquility your kingdom may go forward till the earth is filled with the knowledge of thy love through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And a prayer for those who served and died in World War II. O God of truth and justice, we hold before you those men and women who have died in active service, particularly in the Second World War, whose sacrifice brought victory in Europe. As we honour their courage and cherish their memory, may we put our faith in your future, for you are the source of life and hope, now and forever. Amen. We pray for those who serve today. O Lord God of hosts, stretch forth, we pray, your almighty arm to strengthen and protect our service men and women. Support them in times of conflict and in their rest and training, keep them safe from all evil. Endue them with courage and loyalty and grant that in all things they may serve without reproach. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And a prayer for the Sovereign. Almighty God, the fountain of all goodness, bless our Sovereign Lady Queen Elizabeth and all who are in authority under her, that they may order all things in wisdom and equity, righteousness and peace to the honour of your name and the good of your church and people, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And the prayer of Saint Ignatius. Teach us, good Lord, to serve thee as thou deservest, to give and not to count the cost, to fight and not to heed the wounds, to toil and not to seek for rest, to labour and not to ask for any reward, except that of knowing that we do thy will. Amen. And a blessing. God grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the church, the queen, the commonwealth and all people, peace and concord and to us and all his servants' life everlasting. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you always. Amen. <laughs>